This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. Watch this or listen. Hey guys, Andy here. Listen, there's three things in life that we're sure of. One, that we're all gonna die. Two, that I'm taller than Josh. And three, that I'm wearing the most spectacular shirt in the world. And why is that? Because it looks just like a plain white tee, right? <laughs> you would think that. But is that true? No, it's not. Because here at Sunday Cool, we're creating something super special. A sun revealing ink. Check this out. An absolutely phenomenal and vibrant, super soft shirt with super soft sun reveal ink that reveals a hidden message once the UV rays hit it. I mean, what more, what more do you want? Innovation at its finest, people. Take that, Elon. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go pee. Check, check. What, 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 one, two. Check, 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 checking and coming in. Rip, 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 rip. Sunny oh. 105.5. The cow. Meow. Welcome back. Oh. <clears throat> I say ninjas are butterflies. It is episode 28. And I think to myself. Welcome to the show. And I think to myself, welcome to the show. Hey. <gasps> Woo! Now you guys are just showing off. Oh, uh, we're just showing off a little bit. <laughs> uh, are that, we? That was our Elvis impression. <laughs> Did it sound like Elvis? That I think was so. spot on. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> Yay! Crying all the time. Oh my god! Beautiful. That was amazing. We yeah. should go on the road as just <laughs> two white guys that do Louis Armstrong. Do <laughs> 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 covers of songs. Oh, isn't that fun? Oh, meadow. Some people say that we're good at impersonating others. A lot of people say we have fun. A lot of people do say that, Andy. <laughs> 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 Um, okay, everyone, really be quiet. Today's question. I'm excited. Are you? I am ready. Today's question sent in by a viewer. Should women calm down? What? Hey. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Andy, what do you think? It's just a question. I mean, it, I wanted to say no, but... <gasps> I, Lily, the way Lily reacted was oh. really aggressive, but I will go on record and say, no, they don't need to calm down. All right. Yeah. All, I don't all think... of them don't need to. Yeah. <gasps> hey. <laughs> some would say to calm down. Oh, my God. Hey. But he, some would say, some not would say, Not me. You I would said some would say, say that. that. I would say, continue. You don't need to calm down. Women don't need to calm down. Some, You know what? Like, calm up if you want. Yeah, calm up. No one's asking this question. Hey. Whoa. You're saying our viewers are nobodies? Come on. Wow. No, that's not what I'm saying. Nobody's Whoa, asking that's this interesting. Question. Lily thinks our viewers are nobodies. No! Welcome wow. to the show. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's ah! Why would you say that about our viewers, Lily? Oh my god. Gracious. <laughs> gracious. It's, oh my I saw god. your Sorry, light, guys. I saw your light bulb go off. I was like, oh, that's what I could do. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> Get her! <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, you're perfect. Watch it. <laughs> wow. What am I supposed to say? Listen, we 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 just I'm say sorry. the words and the questions. <laughs> what what happened to you to say where you louder. can't take a compliment? <laughs> yeah. Oh my what gosh. Andrew said. <laughs> All right, bottoms up. What is it, a Jakarta soda? It's Har Harkata. Harkata? Yeah, it's a Jakarta. Or Doritos. Harkata. Doritos. 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 It's Doritos. It's Doritos. <laughs> Mandarin with a five-hour energy. Let's go. Bottoms up. Well, what's happening? 
Do you? What do you see? God. <laughs> really? No, there's light. Oh. <laughs> I just have coffee. There's that five hour energy is very strong in that. <laughs> that flavor is. Why are we not? I see. Oh, I guess it, I'm. I'm not doing energy drinks. Oh, why? Because I'm trying to get fit. You have too much energy. Yeah. Getting rid of it. No, no I'm more. Just, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get a little healthy. Me yeah. too. I want to be a healthy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Lettuce. Mm. I want to live long. <laughs> Then I should. What's no, the, I don't. What time? What year would you want to die? What time? <laughs> what? what? What year would you want to die? Eleven fifty. Eleven fifty a on a Monday at a. No, no, no. Let's do it on a front sat Saturday. Saturday at eleven fifty at night. At night. Okay. Um, Watching New Girl. No. Um, in the year twenty. What year is it now? 2023? Yep. I let's think say, so. let's say 20, um, 2083. 2083. I'll okay. be a hundred and, whoa, I'll That's, be 150. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be 300 years old. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Just crunch the math on that. Oh man. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get healthy. Okay. Good so, for you. Excuse me. I'm proud. Thanks. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't for my health? Yeah. Nothing for my health. All right. I'm pro- I might do some intermittent fasting. We're trying to get All buff, right. right? Huh? We're trying to get buff, right? Yeah. <laughs> we went fishing. <laughs> that counts as mental health. That's true. Mm. And look at me. I am beating you in mental health. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no fight there. You're correct. Yep, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm losing. You're really good at it. <laughs> you're like the Michael Phelps of what mental health. Your mental health, <laughs> your mental health is very strong. I wish I, I wish I could work if, it out. If my mental health is Michael Phelps, mm-hmm. who's your athlete? Who's your mental health? Pee Wee Herman. Which <laughs> <laughs> you're just happy to be alive. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how long I'm going to be here, but I'm here. But I'm here. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Um, speaking of mental health, have you heard of the dancing plague? Oh, no. That was, no. I was just trying to make a joke, but I don't, I don't know. I have not. Have you not heard of the dancing plague? No. A little bit. Why are you so aggressive? I don't know. <laughs> Feel that <laughs> winter dew that? right now. Huh? <laughs> what? What? Nothing. <laughs> Lily, <laughs> I'm trying to have fun. Okay, fine. <laughs> Don't attack her. Ever again I'm not like attacking that. her. Don't ever do that again. Stop. <laughs> Have you heard of the dancing plague, Lily? No, I haven't. Is that when a TikTok dance goes viral? <laughs> no. Listen to this. The dancing plague. It happened in 1518 in a town in France. France? France. Oh, oui, oui. Oh, oui, oui, Maybe This lady woke up one day, just started dancing. What? Out, out, and she was just dancing in the middle of the street. Just a silly, goofy mood. Just, but there's no music. She's just dancing, and she literally couldn't stop dancing. Oh my gosh! To where she was on the, like convulsions, dancing. She was just dancing, and she couldn't stop dancing. Yeah. And the only time she stopped dancing was when she was so physically exhausted that she would collapse. Oh. And as soon as she would wake back up or gain consciousness, she would start dancing again. Oh my gosh! And her feet were like starting to get bloody and stuff because she couldn't stop. What is happening? Listen. <laughs> and then other people started dancing. Yeah. And it turned into like over 400 people just mm-hmm. started dancing. Oh, yeah. no. For a month. <gasps> this is real? This is yeah. dead yeah. real. Who's feeding them? <laughs> well, they, I'm telling you, they, there's this whole thing. <laughs> you can dance and eat. Take a bite. <laughs> it, got, it got so crazy that... People literally couldn't stop dancing. 15 people a day were dying from it. Oh, no. This from, is crazy. They And they couldn't figure <laughs> out. And, like, um, the the town mayor or whatever, they, like, went to the council, like, all these physicians, mm-hmm. and they concluded that, oh, it must be demon possession. Mm. But there's people literally dancing. Burn the witch! Literally <laughs> dancing from, it started in July, and it didn't stop until August. This cannot be real! It's, it's very real. <laughs> the they world? couldn't stop dancing, and people were dancing and screaming in pain because they couldn't stop. That yeah. is the most horrifying sight. It was a psychosomatic something, and there's a lot of theories on it of, like, there's, like, maybe this, like, 
uh, like a plant or something that bloomed and like produced like this thing that like basically made you like hallucinate and yeah. like go crazy. They thought it was yeah a mold. Yeah. Oh yeah, mold. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, that makes sense. Yeah. But mm-hmm. like, could they do it laying down? Like, would you? They move when they're laying. No, down? they would. They they would. Like, have the to, only way to stop is they would either collapse from exhaustion or die. So the, psychologically, they had to stand up. Their body they, was they, telling yeah, them to they, stand up. They couldn't. They That's couldn't. That's a psychological stop. thing. Oh, God, it got to the point to where they're trying to fix it. And um, like, well, maybe if we like, if we start playing music faster and faster, like they'll like be like, oh, wait, what am I doing? What am, why am I dancing? <laughs> so they started playing music and then other people were like, hey, these guys are having fun. And so like the whole town's like coming and dancing <gasps> and they're like, and no. And they're catching it from germs. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so great though. <laughs> but they couldn't, they, to this day, they don't really know why they did it. The only way that it stopped, I think was. They ended up like bringing these people away from their town, and then they were able to just stop, oh, isolate them. Yeah, it was in the water, probably right. Because I don't why know. are so many people catching it if it's not viral and they're not catching it by germs? I don't know. Wait, was that how rock and roll was invented? <laughs> that was the first mosh pit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> were some di- better dancers some- than others? Huh? Were some better dancers than others? Probably naturally. Okay, if you had to be stuck but- in one dance move for the rest of your life. The robot, definitely. The sprinkler. Just- <laughs> I can't stop. Oh, no. But in oh, fact, no. I don't want to. <laughs> Ooh. Um, no, but then, like, to try to get rid of it, they, like, did a whole bunch of things. They tried to do, like, the bloodletting, you know? How? They, that? they like, get, they get the bad blood out of oh, you no. by cutting you. <laughs> but they're trying to do it while they're dancing. And we'll stuff. take all the blood out of their body, and that'll fix it. And we'll put new blood in their body. <laughs> she, uh, she's not dancing anymore. <laughs> well, she's dead. Oh my she gosh. bled too much. We fixed it. Yeah, what is you blood? let the blood leave her body too fast? <laughs> huh? What what how, what does bloodletting look like when somebody's dancing and it's just like stabbing people? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh my gosh. But then, a little kid with scissors oh. run through the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. But oh then, gosh. but then they like. They thought it was like demon possession, so they got rid of like all the sin in their town. They got rid of uh, all the alcohol, all the gambling, the brothels. That's all it and takes. It, and then Just having a good time. <laughs> we rid the world of sin. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but then they they pulled a footloose and oh they no. banned <gasps> dancing. This feels just like the a prank story. It's this is not. <laughs> it's real. And that's the town where Footloose was born. Like, what do you? <laughs> that's how, it's like. Have you ever thought about how the town from Footloose actually got that like that law that no dancing in there? Well, this is how. It's 1518. <laughs> I'm dead serious, though. You need to look it up. Everyone, that's, look it up. It's wild that's and it's so terrifying. Crazy. That's one of the craziest stories I've ever heard. And I, I you know, you know what about my response if I was one of the doctors. Was that they say, or I was the mayor of the town? You know what I would have said? What I said? You know what? These people want to dance. They can dance if they if want they want to. to. They can leave their friends behind because if their friends don't dance, <laughs> and if they don't dance, then the no, no friends, friends of mine. I said, hit S S S S A A A A F F F D D D D Y Y Y Y Safe 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 Dance 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 Dude, what a banger! Do you know we we went to a school. It was Church of Christ, and um, we wouldn't do proms, but we would do uh, banquets. Yeah, mm-hmm. and but it was no dancing. Yeah, um, and in fact, the church, a lot of Church of Christ, I don't think it's all, but a lot of Church of Christ, they don't play music like instruments yeah. in their church services. They just do like acapella stuff, which is pretty cool. I love in it. Some yeah. scenarios. Yeah. Um, but well, I suggested as as sing. we had it. We had a, a, a to vote on a song for our senior class. Uh huh. And I voted that the safety dance. <laughs> yeah. And everyone voted like, yeah, that needs to be a song. Yeah. And the teacher's like, nope, that's not going to be a song. What? If any Christian school should have the safety dance is be like, hey, let's be but safe. It's we the can whole dance, but like, let's be safe about it. No, it's like, you can dance if you want to. Yeah. And they're like, no, you cannot. No, you, no, you cannot. <laughs> I'll show you. I have 15 Bible scriptures that say the opposite. <laughs> so what about David? <laughs> um, what was the entertainment at your banquet? Um, I I want to say it was like a magician or something. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that the weird part? Ours was a um uh uh what do they do? <laughs> Hypnotherapist. Oh, they did what? hypnotherapy and magic, but they were like but dancing. Dance. Yeah, no dancing. But you can't dance. <laughs> it danced That's Francis in a way. So like, what? I on. didn't I didn't even think about that. The hypnotherapy scares me. Yeah, like I part Hypnotist. of me part of me wants to try it. 
But I, I'm scared. I don't think, to. I don't think it could work on me because you have, know. like, I heard be you willing. have to have the mindset yeah. to like, I'm willing for you to take over my mind. Yeah, and that's not. I'm not gonna let someone do that. As a kid, I was like, uh, as a teenager, I always thought like, that's impossible. You can't do it. It's a little. But then the more I hear about it, like, it's actually used in like therapy. And it's used in yeah. like it's a legit thing, and it's a mm-hmm. psychological trick. And that's like that's scary. I don't know. I don't like that. That's when I started believing it was actually at that banquet because Mark Mansfield's little brother was the one that was pulled up on stage. Yeah, and he was the most like you know he he's not the type to fall under anybody's spell in this mm-hmm. way, you know? And he was literally acting like a gorilla on stage. And, like, and he, he's not that kind of guy that would not, act like that? Like not that kind of guy in front of the school. Yeah. But I heard that in, like, yeah, like uh, the hypnotherapist or whatever, like it can actually be really beneficial, yeah. like healing with like past trauma and stuff. Yeah. Things but I minds. say, don't get in my mind. <laughs> get out of my mind, doctors, <laughs> nobody. If you could make either one of, like if you could make him do anything under hypnotherapy, what would you make him do? Um... Probably live a healthier lifestyle. <laughs> and they just never snap me out of it? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to live a healthy lifestyle. I You're will. going to care yeah. about your body. <laughs> um, yeah. Speaking of healthy, being healthy and not being healthy. Hit me. Um, Hit me. Me and Lily this past weekend went on our anniversary date night. Phil Rosenthal, right? Yep. Yeah. How was um, it? It was... Mm, <laughs> Phil is awesome. He's such a cool guy, but the venue that I was at, uh-huh. not very cool. Orlando can get sketch pretty quick. Yeah, and so we only stayed for about ten minutes. Was it actually sketchy? Um, um it the was area, gross. the area around it was, but the the, the, the picture I saw of the place, it's mostly for like concerts. It was like a really good yeah. place for like concerts and stuff. So yeah, like, but it was like more but of a called, sit, like meet and greet kind of the thing. Plaza, the yeah. Plaza Live. Oh yeah, you're like, oh wow, that sounds fancy. You yeah. get there and it looks like a movie theater that yeah. they forgot about. <laughs> and they're like, hey, we should open this for this event. Like, the, okay, yeah. And they just, it's like, because it smelled like musty mm-hmm. and like the chairs were folding chairs. Yeah. And I'm just like, man, this is not a fun thing to do on our anniversary. So the, we ended up going somewhere else. But the director of the plaza is just sitting here just. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. I, I, supposedly it used to be a really nice place. In fact, I think those those chairs that we were sitting in yeah. out in the front lobby, they had these like really nice movie theater chairs. Mm-hmm. And those used to be the chairs in the thing, but they only had three left and they like put them and they like, like roped it off. Yeah. It was weird. And yeah. So me and Lily were sitting in it before the show started. <laughs> yeah. But. And people watching, which. Yeah. That was a rich experience. <laughs> yeah. That's always great. Yeah. Um, but the mental health thing. Yeah. We were leaving <laughs> and um, there was. Oh, uh, no. I would assume a, a homeless lady. Yeah. Or just a lady. I don't know. She was in the having a hard day, having a real hard day, and um, she seemed <laughs> to be um, struggling with whatever substance she might have been taking. Yeah, because uh, she was barefoot and she was going number two in the middle of the road. And the, and the, such a busy street in Winter Park. But I was trying to get Lily's attention because <laughs> yeah, I'm like freaking out because she's standing in this busy road and there's these cars going. 50 miles an hour past. Like, oh, oh my oh. goodness. I'm like, oh, no. Ah, whoa, ah. I'm like, Lily, Panicking. look. And she's like, where? What? I'm like, right there. Look in front of you. <laughs> Can you not see this right here? She's like, what? And I was like, boom, boom. Jeez. And then I said, we said, that is so sad. Yeah. And I'm like, if our girls were ever in that scenario, mm-hmm. I would do anything to get them back home so we could take care of them. Yeah. And I said, I would even cut off my own leg. Wow, what a good dad. And then Lily said, I would cut off your leg. <laughs> I said, what? I said, what? I would do that too. What? Wait, no. Like your leg? No, your leg. What do you what do you mean by that? She's like, if someone took Ada and she was in this bad state and I had to cut off your leg, <laughs> I would cut off your leg. I'm like, well, what is the scenario you're, you're making? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm telling you how it was going down. No. Because what you weren't understanding about what I was saying. Because you didn't express it. I did. You weren't listening. <laughs> what you didn't understand about what I was saying was chopping off my own leg is, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. Done. But chopping off your leg means something to me. But you didn't say that. 
I think you're, we were on the same page. No, because you just said, you start off with like, I would chop off your leg. I said, would you give me a heads up? She's like, in this scenario? No. I can't give you a heads up. <laughs> I can't. I said, Listen. why? I said, you can't just come over to me and say, hey, I got to cut off your leg to save Ada. I'll be like, what? okay, yeah, whatever you got to do to save Ada. She's like, I can't. I can't. In this scenario, they won't let me tell the you. people told me, like, I, said, I just got off the phone. They have Ada. I, need, I can't do this. I said, who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> and why are they making you do this? This is a made up scenario five seconds ago. <laughs> so Lily loves our girl so much that she would cut off my leg. Wow. Dude, I hope this podcast blows up to a point where we can actually spend time editing and like filming these scenes. <laughs> <laughs> like someone dubbing over. Yeah. Like, you need to cut off his leg to I save your daughter. I love that Lily, like, Lily answers the phone. They're like, hey, we have your daughter. We need you to cut off your leg, uh, the leg. And then you just like, Lily's like, hangs up the phone, cuts off her own leg. Okay, next. No, your husband's like, dang it. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Josh, come here for a second. <laughs> got, like, just a wake up. What are you doing? <laughs> I have to. I had to cut it off. What are you doing this? Tell me why you're doing this. I can't. <laughs> so, yeah. You know that. It was fun. That's um, so funny. But... So, um, kids. That was our date night that we've had. Yeah. <laughs> we hadn't been on dates so long. That was their first date night as being a parent of two, right? Without yep. the kids? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It was very fun, though. We yeah. had a lot of fun. We had so much fun. It's so nice to date you. Aww. Aww. We went to a place called Prato? Prado. Oh, Prado. yes. Prado. Prado. Yes. Prado. Yes. In Winter Park. Yes. On Park Avenue. Park Avenue. Oh, Park Avenue. We went to the Park. Oh, oh, I went to Park. Oh, but it was very fancy. Very. And I had truffle pasta. Truffle pasta. Was it good? Very good. Yeah. And then, um, they messed up our order and they gave me my food. I hate this story. <laughs> Twenty minutes uh, before Lily got her food. Boo! I said, feed the lady this first. Place, this place is really fancy. Yeah. Um and. The dishes weren't cheap, mm -hmm. and the la the waitress came over and she said, "I am so sorry for the mix up." She said, um, "Basically, I'm going to take your dish off the bill," and then left. Oh, and nice. then the manager came out said, "I am so sorry for uh, all this," and Lily's like, "Don't even worry hey, about it." Stop it! <laughs> stop what? This you is a story right now. No, I'm just telling the story. It's a no, story. It's not a it's story. Like, it's history. It's a point. No. <laughs> It it is a point. Um, <laughs> she said it's okay. It's don't don't even right. worry about it. I'm eat, I'm just eating his pasta. I can we we are yeah. we, in no rush. Yeah. I'm like we'll pay double. It's fine. <laughs> Shut she up. She might as well have said that. <laughs> oh my gosh! And so the manager left. The waitress came back. She said again, so sorry for the mix up. Um, you guys get a free dessert. I said, wait, what happened to the free meal? Yeah. Lily being too nice. I did not want to hurt her feelings. It was an experience, and she was super attentive, and it was a goof from the kitchen, whatever. Sticks yeah, a, but a, a free meal. That's a good, that's, that's, that's I can see both y'all's points. No, and that's he, like, he that's beats like, a dead <laughs> horse. That's what's the matter here, is that he would not, he brought it up, it's like, okay, whatever, sorry. <laughs> and then he brings it up 10 more times. See, the thing is, okay, the thing is, I get both of your guys' points, but Lily, I understand your perspective <laughs> because I also had a similar scenario with Josh. <laughs> what? We went out to Alan's birthday party and we had, I ordered the swordfish. Oh, we were at it. <laughs> I ordered. We were at this dinner, and it was it was a night. What the is most, Goblin Market? Like yeah. it's, it's a really nice place. So we're all like, it's it's not cheap either. So we go upstairs, and we're having a good time. We're celebrating our bro. And I order. I'm like, you know what? I'll feel adventurous. And it's like, like a fifty dollars <laughs> swordfish. Like, I'll order steak. swordfish. I don't think it was fifty bucks. It was expensive. Know, it, was, it was expensive. Uh, just for like one thing of fish. And I was like, I've never tried it. I'll try it. Let's go. And uh, no, that what it was, I was going to get something cheap, cheap. And then oh, yeah. Austin's like, no, you have to try the swordfish. I'll pay for That's it if you buy it was. this. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, if it's free, I'll do it. And yeah. so um, Austin bought it and we got it. And it was not I don't, good. I've never had swordfish. So I can't compare it to my, oh, my, my previous swordfish was not this dry. Mm -hmm. I've, I've but, watched enough cooking shows to know that it shouldn't be like, yeah, it was dry oh, as like crazy. Very rubbery. Rubber. Before yeah. you continue, okay. you guys are really bashing Goblin Market right now. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. They're not, the best. It's they no. are the best. Goblin no. Market, shout out Goblin Market. They're amazing. <laughs> they just, their, their swordfish Needed that some night work. Yeah. was not very good. Did, yeah. it, did and, it come out with everything? 
like when everyone got their food. Yeah, yet. I think so. And and I, that's yeah. normally the problem with fish in a kitchen is they'll put it under the oh, warmer and, it and then it drives it out. Yeah. yeah. With, with a big party. Well, that was, it was, so we tried it and then I was like, ah, I mean, you tried it. It's not a big deal. Everyone tried it. Everyone hated it. And then Josh was just like, man, that's terrible. That's really, really bad. That's terrible. And he just, I was like, I don't, it's one of those things where it's like every time, like, I was like, I'm not, no, no worries. I'm not no worries problem. And yeah. then suddenly when Josh is like, I'm like, yeah, maybe I should be. Mad. <laughs> yeah. I said, dude, that's really, this is a nice restaurant. They need to know oh when their gosh. food is not up yeah. to their standards. And it's not the waiter's fault. No, but it's, it's not. one of those things where it's like the Josh was just like, Hey, um, this is like, terrible like, yeah. like, you, didn't, you didn't say terrible but you said it like a nicer way no, but but like, no, no i remember what you said no oh, we're getting to that oh. <laughs> but the waiter like everyone else was saying how bad it was but he looked at me and he knew i was a pushover and so he looked at me and he says would you like a refund on that or like to change something else and i just sat there like <sighs> is that where i piped in yeah and then you're just like yeah let's get let's get I it said, like <laughs> i said we'll have a refund and he's like what was the issue with it i said the issue with this swordfish <laughs> Is that it tastes like a sponge soaked in you, shrimp water. You literally said that. <laughs> That's my favorite restaurant. It's good, but their swordfish was not. That's my favorite restaurant. But the, have you had the swordfish? No, but you, but you, are we ever going to be able to go back? Okay. Yeah. That was like two years ago. I think we should order yeah. the swordfish and you guys should share it on the pod. <laughs> We don't. I love we, it. We, you guys just, that's your next date night, and you just, you answer back here whenever we go. Yeah. It'll be really like is. Bridesmaids, where she's like sick and she's like Jordan Almond. <laughs> and I'll be like, this is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> the swordfish. <laughs> no, but they had these I like. I was just hungry. They have these, um, what is it? The filet. The oh, the petite filets. Oh, mm. oh, says so that petite filet. Mm. Mm. So good. <laughs> oh, I got some dancing. It's so good. <laughs> But no! yeah, they, they actually this can make you mad. They changed it because everybody, it was everyone was getting these petite fillets. Oh come on! So now you have to get the really large portion that's like fifty dollars. No, no, I why? know, I know. Why? Come God. on, Gobble Market. <laughs> Just kidding. I gotta know, Josh, because you were pretty aggressive toward Lily about being Not kind. Um, it was a little <laughs> aggressive, but being kind to the were you there to the server? <laughs> I heard your story. Yeah, I heard man. your story. It was pretty yeah. aggressive. He beat a dead horse with his fist. Come on. on. I, 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 get, I, I get both of your guys' sides. I want to know, though, if you're like truly in camp aggro, what did you tip? 20%. She was amazing. I think you're on her side. No, I, I'm i always a good tipper. because I Yeah, Josh always tips well. I realize it wasn't the waitress's fault. You know, it could have been, but she, no, that's I saw to, her write down the order. The kitchen, oh, no, that's what the manager said. She said... They brought out her dish to another table. And so the cooks thought they were done with our table. And so it was just a mishap. Yeah. Wasn't the waitress's fault. Never said it was the waitress's fault. But she offered her free meal and then took it away. You know something? That's the manager's fault. That's it what if, if the waiter found, yeah. if the boss, maybe the manager's like, hey, just give him a free dessert. But if the waitress says, like, hey, I already told him you get a free meal, fine, do it. But it comes out of you or whatever. Like, just. Yeah. Like, figure that out. Like, that's the manager's problem. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. Yeah. But here's the thing. I never, if she hadn't offered a free dessert, I never would have tried their Thin Mint Gelato. And I'm a True. better person because of it. <laughs> All right, that's fair. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. It was mint. dumb. On the other side of it, I bought Thin Mints from Girl Scouts outside of Lowe's? Walmart. Oh. This, uh, <laughs> this weekend. So, we are... <laughs> We also had thin mints as well. <laughs> Very cool. That was a great story. Yeah. <laughs> and I had two this morning, believe it or not, because nice. they were in the fridge. Hot Is that what you delicious. picked? Yeah, me and Kelsey both like those. I yeah. prefer the peanut butter ones. Mm. Dude, Love mint, me some peanut butter. Mint dessert anything, I can't get over the fact that it just tastes like toothpaste Same. or sugar. Only, Same. Ice, only ice cream for me. Like I feel like everything else is pretty good. But I like candy canes. Yeah. Like no, you the don't. Peppermint. No, I don't. What? <laughs> You don't like candy canes? No, I'm, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Uh, <laughs> candy can anything mint or peppermint. <laughs> you're, just, you're attacking see, me. See, that's the thing. You guys have these fights or debates or arguments, and 100% of the, 99% of the time, you are most likely on the same side, <laughs> but completely misreading each other. Because she attacks me. Because in your mind, the whole chopping your leg off, you're like, listen, mm. I'm chopping your leg off, but guess what? My leg's already off. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's back there. <laughs> oh. That is so great. I like um, um, Samoas. Ooh, yeah, the coconut ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a. I was never a fan of coconut growing up, mm. but now, dude, like toasted coconut on anything, 
So good. So So stinking good. What do you think the research was like when they were choosing to name that cookie? You think they like actually figured out anything about Samoan culture? Just like I'm sure they did a lot of research on it. Yeah, Yeah. probably. Girl Scouts are really known for their research. Should we cancel (laughs) Girl Scouts? (gasps) Should we what? Cancel. (laughs) That's cultural appropriation. I don't know. (laughs) Um, But speaking of thin mints. Let's no. cut to an ad. <gasps> no way. Uh, don't go anywhere. I have a commercial for you. It is about clear shame, so listen to this. It is for churches and organizations. It involves some sort of texting platform. It's a software that you, you should use. Use. <laughs> hey guys, Clearstream um, is offering 10% off for life for all ninja listeners. You need to do it. So go to clearstream.io forward slash ninjas if you want to get 10% off for life. If you want to communicate with your church, a software that's made directly Three, for churches. churches. You can do mass text, two way text. text. You can even do polls. Josh, polls? did you know that? You what? Want, like, you're like, hey, who's the best, the best person in the church? Um, Jesus. Yep, and you can make that a poll. So what are you waiting for? If you're a church, if you know somebody in a church that could use this, go to clearstream.io forward slash ninjas to get 10% off for life. Well, what? 10% off for life? And do biddy do. Um, wasn't that ad fun? Mm. The best. I think it's the best one we've ever done. I think so. What do you think, Lo? Yeah. Jane? Oh. Hey, we're good, right? Yeah, I love you. I love you too. That was the... Why did you shrug? There was a, there was a yeah, shrug yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a really. That was, I know that. Yeah, that I love was, you. Sure. I know that that was love. I know she loves you, but yeah. there's something. Yeah, I look like a. I love you, but wish I didn't. <laughs> Listen, you guys are you guys are trying to create some. We're trying to mend the bond. Hey, you guys are in game. I know it. Hey, look at me. I'm just enjoying the fireworks. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Oh. Speaking you of looked away. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm kidding. I want to fight you. <laughs> I'm going to fight you. Why'd you hesitate? <laughs> it's like there's no hesitation. Speaking of mending the bond, yeah. have you heard of Bondo Apes? Bondo <laughs> Apes? No. <laughs> I have not. What? <laughs> Don't make that face. Bondo you haven't heard Apes. Of, you haven't heard of Bondo Apes? You're telling me you haven't heard of Bondo Apes that live in the Congo and Wait a we've second. never been able to really find them? <laughs> what? <laughs> You sound like you're turn- you're becoming more and more like Stefan from Who's SNL. It? <laughs> oh, it's a TP for my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> There's this new club <laughs> called Bando Apes. It's, it's co- it has a bunch of apes <laughs> <laughs> and um, George Bush on a tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I heard about it from a Joe Rogan podcast. It's these Joe these, who? Um, was it R- R- Rokin? Rokin? Reagan. Oh, Joe, Joe, Ro- Joe, Joe Reagan. Joe Reagan. Oh, Ronald's son. Yeah, I think he is. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, he mentioned Bondo apes. Okay. And it's this this group of apes mm-hmm. that live in the Congo that are, they, they're very mythical. Like, there's like some pictures of them, but they're abnormally huge chimpanzees. Oh, Can I look these no. up? Can I look up pictures? That the rumor is, yeah. The rumor is when they walk, they walk up on their two legs instead of like how Ew. a monkey usually walks. Six feet tall. <gasps> Six feet tall. And their nickname. That's how tall I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude. Their nickname is the lion killers because they supposedly kill lions oh and eat them. Oh, my gosh. Every- Ooh, Dude, they are scary. It. But they're they're confused by them because their heads aren't fully shaped like a chimpanzee's. Okay. Yeah, but they have kind of features of uh, gorillas. That's so what I'm they're seeing. they're almost saying it's like a mixed race Hybrid. between chimpanzees and gorillas. Oh, that's scary. That's and really they're scary. like like supposedly mean because they're thi- they're like they're thinner like chimps, but they're it's like bulky Caesar. like gorillas. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's that's like Caesar so scary. from Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, dude. When he <laughs> speaks for the first time. You're just, you're like in that movie, <laughs> dude. I want to watch that movie again. That dude. is so good. Where it's like standing up and he like grabs thing. No, dude. And all the other chimps like. 
<laughs> Calm down! You're scaring Oh, Jane. sorry, Jane. Her eyes are so wide. Sorry, Jane. <laughs> She's having flashbacks. <laughs> but could you imagine walking through the woods and there's a six foot <laughs> ape just standing there on his <gasps> hind legs just looking at you? What dude, would you do? Dude, My dude, heart would stop. I, I would immediately... Start dancing. I would dance <laughs> until I collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey's like... <laughs> That would be so scary. Six feet tall. Yeah. For, you Nothing but muscle. It? You believe it, though? It's there? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Have you heard the stories of the What anaconda? do you mean, like, believe that they're there? Like, that they're a real thing. Like, it's a... It's I mean, aren't those pictures of them? Well, they... Some people would, would argue that those pictures are, like, fake. They look... Or, why would they, they be fake? Or, or that they found just an abnormally yeah. huge size chimpanzee. Oh, man. Like, there's no video of an attack. There's no, oh. you know what I mean? It's just it's, like But the, the, local, the locals mm-hmm. call it the lion killer because they have supposedly seen these chimps kill lions. Yeah. Golly. Like, Wait a second. Where do they live? The Congo. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Where'd you think? Which? I was thinking South America, and I'm like, there are oh. no lions. In South First of all. America. Or chimpanzees. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. There's no chimpanzees in South America. I know there's not gorillas. There's no chimpanzees. There's monkeys. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh. But not chimpanzees. Uh-oh. Don't fact check. Don't <laughs> fact check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, I'm right, right? I've been thinking chimpanzees are in South America. That's, that's unfortunate because uh, I've been investing in chimpanzees in South America for quite a while. <laughs> this is bad news. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a new money in, like investor. This is this is bad. <laughs> oh boy. This sounds like um like it could be Sasquatch. It's it, got, it has it would you could argue it has features got, of like Sasquatch. Of like <laughs> of like Sasquatch. I thought I thought we were good. <laughs> <laughs> I no, let's, I thought we were good. I, if, you, we, if you want to go down that, um. Real quick, I want to talk about what happened yesterday. First of all, I want to just oh, okay. give, I want to give a shout out to the guy who named Kong, the Congo the Congo. Yeah, what a great name, the Congo. I mean, like yeah. it's very strong. Yeah, like Florida, Orlando, like the Florida. Congo. And the, when you hear yeah. Congo, it's exactly like, what you're you hear like. like yeah, the, 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 the <laughs> Bongo exactly. drum. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's absolutely perfect. Yeah, continue. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, I typed in Bongo chimp. <laughs> <laughs> Jim going. I forgot. What, I forgot like a good band name. what you had said, and I typed in Bongo. Um, <laughs> that sounds like a really good band name. Look at the stage, Bongo Chips. <laughs> <laughs> which is also like I'm a terrible researcher, which we never talked about. Oh yeah, it's really funny. Can we talk about that real quick? Because it's funny, yeah. and we can both agree on this. Yeah. Um, what What were we looking up the other day with? Um, it was like, how does, because Ada's got a skin condition right now, and I'm like, how does this bug bite present itself in children? Is what I typed into Google. And while she's looking it up, I type in, I don't even know, it was like three words. Yeah, and I got red in, spots, two-year-old. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and they're like, like oh, yeah, right there. Lily's like trying to write a novel in the <laughs> question. Um, Dude, Google search is going to completely destroy communication. Oh, in yeah. Like five years, we're all going to speak. Broken sentences. Yeah. Well, you guys know of like when I'm trying to describe something with editing a movie or a video, I don't mm. say words really. No. I'm like, that needs that needs it like the the, the whoosh part. Yeah. It needs to come in. Yeah. And like it's like a like a like a whoosh. when I first started working with you, because I just wanted to be like, Yeah, I'll 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 find it. And then I would just be like, What is he bro? <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> I, sound? I've developed a language. I just I just nod and completely change the edit. I'm like, we'll see if this one makes me happy. And it works almost all the time. So, That's um, so funny. I won't I won't talk about what happened yesterday because what happened I don't yesterday want, with the my allergies and stuff in our discovery we made. Shut up! I just said I won't talk about it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you are talking about it. Now you have to. Why would you say, hey, by the way, I know we were just talking about something, but let me interrupt and tell you that I'm not going to be telling you about well, this. Because I brought, I brought it up, and then we continued the discussion. Some would say that was a natural get out get out of jail free card. Right there. <laughs> but we found something out yesterday. No. Didn't we? Well, you found something mean. No. We learned together. <laughs> Technically, something mean is still. You something. sound like Miss Rachel. <laughs> hey, no. Today we learn together. Learn together. <laughs> learn together. Learn to together. We learn together. I learned something, and you're you're being mean to me. No, that. I'm not. Okay, yeah. now we need Here, to hear it. I, let me. Just we need this. to hear okay, this. Okay, yeah. Listen, <laughs> let me just set this up. 
Lily is smarter than me. I am. You are. Smarter than I am is what I'm correcting you. Define smart. <laughs> you, don't, you don't end it with me. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> but I knew something yesterday that she didn't know. Okay. I know a lot of things she doesn't know. But this is this is a common knowledge <laughs> thing, okay. I would say. Can you tell me what pollen is? Pollen. Pollen. Okay. I'll don't do, don't don't be like it's like a I'll do my grader. best. Like I'll where, do my best. Okay. Trees. Okay. Is that when it? When the something blooms maybe before spring on trees, the wind blows it, it spreads, it's an allergic. Is it just reaction. trees? Probably plants and bushes, I don't know. Maybe maybe flowers? Okay. So you're you're kind of in the same boat as Lily. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I said, I said, dude, my allergies are killing me. I'm like, look at all the pollen on the windshield. Okay. And she's like, where? I'm like, the the dust stuff. Yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah. that's not pollen. I said, like, that's pollen. She's like, no, pollen is those little brown tube things. Brown tube things. What? Yeah. And we'll show a picture right here. This is what she was talking about. Um, but it's like, do you ever go outside and there's like those little brown fuzzy things that fall off of trees? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She thought oh. that was just pollen. I oh, said, really? I said, no, pollen is in basically anything that has a seed. So, like, flowers, trees, grass. She's like, grass doesn't have pollen. I said, yes, it does. I'm I, like, would, I wouldn't have thought that has pollen. And I, I'm yeah. like, look it up. And yep. she looked it up, and she stopped talking to me. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I said, what did it say? She's like, nothing. Nothing. I'm on to something new now. <laughs> but we learned something yesterday. No. Okay. You keep saying we did. We didn't learn. I, I learned. learned that you didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's hilarious. End of story. Yeah. Well, I I didn't know that either. Pollen is uh, something that because I see like pollen, they can even track pollen now too. Yep. You can literally go and see where pollen's going. It's a nightmare. Yeah. It's terrible right now. It's yeah. I have allergies like crazy. But we all took allergy medicine. Our main sponsor today, Amazon <laughs> All Day Allergy. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Fun fact: it I just sent us cases of it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Let me let me get that bottle because fun fact I was listening to the podcast or listening to you guys talk and uh, definitely put it in my sunflower seed cup. Realized that was my pill. Oh, <laughs> I was oh like, so you didn't take it? Yeah. <laughs> I had, like this moment, I was like like into your story and I like just dropped it in the cup. I was like, why did I do that? Hey, Andy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, Josh. <sighs> Have you ever heard the phrase? They don't make them like they used to. Oh, tell me about it, brother. I say that almost all the day. They don't make them like they used to. <laughs> no, they sure don't. Well, there's a reason why. Why? <laughs> it's called the plan obsolets op, op, <laughs> obsolete. <laughs> no, no, no. Obsolescence. There's a reason for that. <laughs> yeah. They call it the planned obsolescence. Ooh. And it's crazy. What is that? It's crazy, guys. Guys, it's nuts. Let's let's go back into history. Are we ready to learn something, Lily? We're ready to learn something today hey. about plan obsolescence. Don't attack me. I love that word. Obsolescence? Obs obsolescence? Ob ob the essence of being obsolete? No, 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 no. That's not what it means. Yeah, it, yeah, it does. <laughs> um, so back in 1924... In Geneva, Switzerland, mm. a group of elites met together. Do you know who these elites were? Uh, white men? Nope, not all of them. <laughs> okay. I mean, there were some. <laughs> yeah, okay. They all owned light bulb manufacturers. Uh-oh. Oh, or factories. snap. They, they're all the CEOs of these light bulb corporations. Okay. And they said, our light bulbs last too long. They're too good. They're too good. We're doing our, too good of a our job. Our sales are going down. And so from that meeting, they came up with a term. And, and these are all people all from different companies. From everywhere all around All different the world. businessmen, all trying to run their own, trying to be the best. Yep. Okay. And, but they all noticed their sales are going down. Yeah. Because they're light bulbs. No one's buying light bulbs. We're too good. Yeah. And so they came up with a term to call themselves. They're a, a group of people, which they called themselves the Phoebus Cartel. <laughs> Phoebus? Phoebus. <laughs> We're with Phoebus. 
Phoebus is the god of light. Oh, weird. <laughs> yeah. What are they doing that for? Well, they make, oh, sense, make light bulbs. Yeah. <laughs> they got a bunch of ideas. But they all agreed at this meeting in Geneva. Yeah. We need to, their light bulbs at that time could run for about 2,000 hours. They're like, we need to cut that in half. So they all agreed, all shook on it. Let's cut this in half. Make Deal. our light bulbs worse. <laughs> and so they all had to do this agreement. And in fact, they all had to send their light bulbs like every month or whatever to get tested wow. at one facility. And if it went over a thousand hours, that company was fined <gasps> because they all are like, we need to make crappier products to sell more. Yeah. And but we that, have to be equal. Mm -hmm. We have to agree on this. Yep. And that term planned obsolescence. Am I saying that right? I yes. feel like I say it wrong That's every right. single time. That's obsolescence. Right. Yeah. Ob obsoles obsolescence. Obsolescence. Yes. That term was ad adapted, adopted, and adapted <laughs> <laughs> to basically everything now. At like uh, General Motors took it on. Interesting. We're going to make our cars not run as long, so they're mm. going to replace metal with plastic. Yeah. And uh, instead of screws, like a fastener of some sort that will wear out over time. Mm -hmm. And that's basically applied to every single product now. Yeah. Like iPhones. iPhones. Yeah. We know that to be true. They they don't last forever. Yeah. I mean, I just saw a video this morning about a guy that had like a uh, Dutch oven, uh, like one of those enamel ones. You saw it too? A Le Creuset. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And so it's made out of the same material. It's the same design. It has been for decades, but yet the price has increased by like, a hundred and fifty percent. Yeah. And it's like nothing's changed. You're just taking advantage of it. And so yeah, yeah. it's but, not quite the same thing, but yeah. I'm, but no, the, but it's like the inverse of that thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Le Creuset, by the way, I want one for Christmas. Okay. Um <laughs> But then they went a step further as it progressed. It's like we can't just keep making crappy things all the time. Mm -hmm. So they did the plan obsolescence, but um what do they call it? Like the psychology of it. So making the consumer always want something new and exciting, mm. which is basically good yeah. marketing. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Um, oh. What was that? <laughs> Someone yelled, scared me. What did they yell, though? <laughs> it scared me, too. Get down. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm worried about. We're just having the, just having the time of our life in here. Oh, they're good. They're just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yikes. That's how they feel with us. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's crazy, and I lost my train of thought. No, that's absolutely <laughs> yeah, and that's that's the thing because there isn't there a light that's been on for like almost a hundred years. It's wow. yeah, I looked at it. it's called the Centennial Light, and it's been on since 1901. <gasps> They're ripping us off! Come yeah, on, it's so lame. Why? Like, why do we have to? Why do we have to do that? Yeah. yeah, I get it. It's a business. People, it's paying for people's jobs and stuff, but it's. This is crazy, oh, man, too. It's tough. Related. Just make it more expensive well, so that we they, pay for it and well, then don't have to change too. our light bulbs every well, oh, they, had, they had the perfect product, though. Yeah. yeah. They replaced candles. Yeah. Yeah. Just stick with candles if you're going to But also make. think of that time in the, what was it? What did I say? The 40s? Or 24. Okay. You probably, a household probably had two lamps in it. Yeah. So, like, a household was by it two light bulbs and it would last them years yeah or they just design their house so they only need one yeah and so it's just like so the one in the living room just lights up the whole oh, house, house. Oh my but this gosh. is crazy oh my. this 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 plan was um adopted also by during the great depression just businesses were going out and like all this stuff this guy went to the u.s government and said i have an idea make put expiration dates on everything everything food wow products and even if it's unnecessary, mm -hmm. golly, he said that will like medicine that will force people to buy it. Wow! And realize that oh, this is now expired. I need to go buy more. So yeah, medicines, Jeez. food, drinks, all of that. And the government didn't, they didn't do it. Yeah. But every company in the U.S. ended up doing it, and yeah. that's why everything now has expiration dates. Yeah, that's you nuts. call me the food safety diva or whatever yeah because i'm so weird about expiration dates but now i know maybe they're not true so what are you I've, saying some is, of them are <laughs> i mean so what you're saying is food doesn't expire <gasps> doesn't eat your Jeez. old yogurt <laughs> yeah, i've eaten ketchup from like a year expired like Paige went through the fridge and she was like you know this went bad like, like way too long ago. ago i was like it tastes the same yeah just smell it it's just got vinegar it it's mm -hmm. yeah remember that time fine. i got horrible food poisoning though yeah 
She ate a cheese it's Danish scary. that was sitting out in the sun for six oh, hours. Oh, no. <laughs> it was she- a- Heather's <laughs> retirement cheese. party. Heather's retirement party at our house. She got really sick. That was, was so was really sad. Do you remember you were like, hey, while you're up, can you get me a water? <laughs> what? You, you said, hey, you're, I was up. And you're like, hey, can you just grab me a water while you're up or whatever? And I went, mm. <laughs> Do you remember? No. I was so sick. Oh. <laughs> and you went, oh, oh. <laughs> you, oh, I do remember that now. Because you had, you're like you were saying kind of like my stomach hurts. I'm going to go like yeah. get Tums or something. I said, like, can you give me a water? And she's like walking out the door. She goes, <laughs> you're like, oh my gosh. Oh, no, you are actually hey, really you, sick. Can you go to the bathroom, but could you grab me a water first, please? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you remember that Nate Bergazzi joke about the dog medicine expiring? He's like, uh, so like his dog needed like medicine because it was a thunderstorm. So anxiety stuff. And so he gets up in the middle of the night <laughs> and, he, and he gets the medicine. He looks at it and says expired in the pill bottle. And so he brings it, he brings it back to her. And he says, Hey, Hey, sorry. He says, uh, the dog medicine is expired. Is it okay? And then she says, yes, it's old medicine. I mean, a new medicine in an old bottle. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, I should I should realize that my bad. <laughs> it's like, you have friends over. <laughs> They're like, Hey, your milk is expired. It's like, you it's all it's new milk in an old bottle, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> oh, my like, bad. I, I, I should have known. known. That. And he's like, she's like, dog medicine doesn't expire. And he's like, and he's like, you don't even know if that's true. <laughs> he's like, you think you? Can, I know your friends, and you don't have any friends at the dog medicine factory. It's like, hey, I don't know if you know this, but we're doing big things here at the dog medicine factory. We it just created, <laughs> we created something that doesn't expire. <laughs> so oh good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, I have one more story. Hear it. Let's do it. Hear it. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> hear it, please. Speak hear it. it. Hear it. Let me. Speak it. I hear. Um, Dang it, I missed Ada's doctor phone call. Oh. That's okay. I'll call her back. Um, Jake, Lily's brother, told us this story last night, and I'm like, I need to share this on the podcast because yeah. this is a crazy story. It was in uh, 1893. Okay. Um, I'm not going to read all the names. I'm just going to give you the... Pretty the gist. Story. Yeah, because you don't need to know the names. I don't need to know. This guy was dating this girl, 1893 in Texas. Texas? Texas, baby. Texas love. Yeah. Texas romance. Mm, the biggest. Um, And he ended up breaking up with her, and she couldn't handle it. She was so upset by it that she ended up... um, You know. You know. Oh, no. Yeah. Very sad. Very sad. Yeah. And the brother of the girl went to this man's house shot to seek a, revenge to seek revenge shot at him it grazed him right his uh-huh. like face grazed his face and lodged into a tree behind him uh-huh and he's like i'm the luckiest man ever and yeah oh but that brother ended up immediately oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. on himself horrible and um but this dude's like i'm the luckiest man ever um 40 years went by he got married had kids mm-hmm. And then him and his son were like, we're going to go take down that tree. and As a trophy. Yeah, as a trophy. We're going to take this tree as a trophy. And they started, it was a big old tree. No. And they, started, they started chopping it down. And it was like such a big tree and like really dense. No. He said, he said go get the dynamite. Don't. And listen, the son put the dynamite in. The dad's just standing there. A good, it was oh. like 100 yards away or something. Very clear of the tree, right? Yeah. The sun lights the dynamite, runs away. Boom, right? That no. bullet that was no lodged way. in that tree, what? right in the middle Are of the forehead. Are you kidding me? Killed him. Dead. That's a real story? Real story. The fire from the dynamite went up through the tree, dislodged it out. the bullet, went straight into the dude's head. Bro. That is the craziest. Is that story? not that crazy? Is nuts. And I said, "That's insane." Is that real? And Jake said, "It's a tree story." <laughs> <laughs> he meant to say true, but I'm like, "That's amazing." Oh, I, I so thought funny. that was a joke. No, so it's true. It's a true story, but he said he said it's a tree story. I'm like, "It is. It is a tree true story." I thought that was the bit. No. I thought that was the joke. You tell this really insane story, and then when they ask you, "Is that true?" You're like, "Yeah, it's a tree story." And then that's the joke. <laughs> 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 that's crazy yeah oh man what a story isn't that great jeez i mean it's not are, great for him but break, breakups are the worst yeah <laughs> they really are <laughs> tree story yeah <laughs> there was um, there was a time uh w- probably my worst breakup like that i didn't even realize this is the thing i didn't even realize it was the worst breakup but it happened so i was in sixth grade okay 
sixth grade, I started, uh, which don't start dating in sixth grade. That's mm-hmm. dumb. Yeah. But I was, I, you know, no rules. And hey, you look at me. I was a player. Okay. Oh, sixth grade. Yeah. I was what? like balling. Okay. I was yeah. balling. Yeah. What's up? No. Look at him. <laughs> you can imagine. Uh, <laughs> and so I, uh, I started dating this girl. We'll just call her. Her nickname was Brie. So let's just do it. It's called Brie. Because who knows? I don't know if she watches this, but she needs to know that this she broke my heart. Um, so uh, she, I was uh, crazy about her. And then one day out of nowhere, she gives me a note pretty much saying, we're done. We broke up. She passed which, you a note in class? Yes. Oh, and no. it was the worst. And no, you know what? I was just like, <sighs> whatever. I was just bummed. And so Come it was on, like, Bree? yeah, no. Yeah. It was like right before Valentine's Day and stuff. And so it was just like kind of a bummer. And so I went home and I was bummed. My mom asked me how my day was. And I said, uh, well, Brie broke up with me today. And she says, on your birthday? And I said, <gasps> it's my birthday. <laughs> she broke up with me on my birthday today. <laughs> I was like, oh, because I was I was fine with it. I was like, whatever, it's sad. But then I was just like, then I just got mad at that yeah. point. I was like, how dare you? Why would you break? <laughs> and for some reason, it just did not cross my mind that today was my birthday. And she just broke my heart on my birthday. That's that's me. So, you went yeah. through a whole school day and no one had said happy birthday that's to you? What, I don't know. I can't like, there, I did not, I didn't not realize it. Apparently I didn't celebrate. Was, were you moving around a lot? Yeah, that time? was, that was the time where it's yeah. like, I wasn't around. So people didn't really know it wasn't a big thing. So yeah. what about your family? I mean, yeah, it was obviously probably, probably did something later that night, but I don't know. But like, it's really, like, you just wake up morning, mom, morning. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then later on the day, it's like, yeah, it's your birthday. <laughs> Why didn't you say in the morning, mom? <laughs> I would have had a way different reaction at school. <laughs> but I just remember the revelation, the wave hitting me. I'm like, how dare her? Yeah, like just, that's that's mean. Yeah, Come so Brie, if you're out there, apologize. On yeah, his I, I, want, I want an apology. We better um, get a cake. Yeah. Um, That's all my stuff. That's really good. That was re- Dude, I learned a lot today. We all learned a lot. Yeah. We all, <laughs> you look at Lily, right? No, I was we like le- looking around. <laughs> I was looking around. You and your lessons on <gasps> learning. Wait, were you mansplaining this whole podcast to us? <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> Is it okay to mansplain? Is mansplaining really that bad? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if they don't know the, the information I'm giving to them, then I am a man and I have to explain it somehow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, what? When, when does a man explaining become mansplaining? I think when you dumb it down. What if the person just doesn't understand what you're saying? Or I Listen. think I think you have to be standing. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a stature thing. <laughs> yeah. Listen, let me explain that peanut butter and jelly. Get on my level. So you know peanuts <laughs> and jelly. Paige and I are going to start arguing, and I'm just going to sit down. And be like, don't want to get blamed here. Sit at her feet. <laughs> and just look up at just her. Sit cross-legged. <laughs> are you done? That seems that seems like the op. Like seems like, even worse. You have to be on yeah, the same like, level because you're just like, oh yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> Let me explain something to yeah. you. <laughs> Listen, I want everyone to know if I don't understand something, you have full you have full permission to okay. explain it to me like I'm a five year old. Cool. Because I just don't get it a lot. I had a, a situation where Danny, I was yesterday our boss, I was like, I'm in a rundown situation, like in the office where it's like you've told me to do something and that was like a week ago and I do not understand it. <laughs> <laughs> and I've asked and I've asked questions around that project. <laughs> And you were even more confusing to me. And it's my fault because I can't understand. So it's like, so I'm just going to just out front ask you, please explain to me like I'm a five-year-old what I need to do. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. Well, good. episode. What, was this episode 28? 28, baby. That's Are we 20, sure? 28. Yeah, last week was 27. Because uh, I forgot to no, say that 27 is my favorite number. This comes out next week. But we already oh. filmed 28. So 20, yeah, we're so, so we're kind we, of ahead. So we're 29? 29? Hold on. Is it twenty nine? Yeah, because we just dropped twenty seven. So this week's twenty eight, and then next week this week. But this in week. our song, we sang twenty eight. Oh no! <gasps> Sorry, guys. Oh! <laughs> 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 we've got to figure this out. We've got to write. We've got to write we have it down. A whiteboard, yeah, like we, right there, or something, yeah. right? Episode <laughs> so twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. We so next to. week is dirty thirty. Oh, dirty thirty. What should we do? Wait, this, um, is, this is twenty eight. Oh my goodness! I don't know, guys. We Hold are on. so sorry. We're off the rails. <laughs> the last thing it really doesn't matter because they will know. Yo, what okay, it is twenty. It is twenty-eight. No, wait, hey. remember though that we made a mistake. What? Do you remember one weekend we made a mistake? What? What? Don't you remember? You said that you did all the wrong numbers. 
No, 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 no. He, he changed the, the accidentally changed oh. the thumbnail. Oh, that's probably what it was. That's what's throwing me off because we thought I thought it was twenty seven, but it was twenty six. It's 26, all my actually. fault. I'm sorry. Yeah, twenty seven. I thought it was Josh this, this past Friday. All right, everyone you can go back. Everyone, to that. shame Andrew on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Shame. shame. <laughs> 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 um, for our th- dirty thirty episode, we should come covered in mud. Okay, or eat something really messy. Oh, Ooh. wow, we're chicken all wings. I'm just, everything toes. goes back to food. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it would be really great. Food? Well, well th- what you guys comment, what should we do for our 30th episode? Yeah. Will we know? Probably not. Probably not, because it's going to comment anyways. <laughs> um, but hey, guys, thank you so much for listening to 20 episodes so far. Um, go comment on everything, even Spotify. There's a thing that says, What'd you think of this episode? Comment. Because I read them, Andy reads them, and they're so joke. fun. You yeah. don't have to tell, do anything specific, just tell us a joke. Or tell us, Aww. tell us uh, how um, how good we look. Yeah, if I'm cute. Yeah, but only boys. <laughs> oh my god! I only want the boys to tell me that I'm cute because I just need that like that brotherhood, the <laughs> pat on the back. Don't say boys. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Man! Oh no! I just need support from my brothers. <laughs> don't say. <laughs> on that note. We probably yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the boys, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Saturdays with the boys. Yeah, boys. Yeah. Like the yeah. boys with the Z. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what you meant. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was I was thirty years old calling the boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh yeah, don't don't no don't, um, don't don't compliment us at all. Just don't <laughs> <laughs> no compliments ever. <laughs> I don't want anyone complimenting me ever. (laughs) Don't. Don't. (laughs) Take it back. (laughs) Take it all back. Tell us what you thought of the episode. Yeah, exactly. Just give us a proper rating and a proper comment, please. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing abnormal or unusual. (laughs) Okay. Love you. Love you guys. Love you, I love you. I love you. Aw. Everyone look each other in the eyes and say, we love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. At the same time. Jane, I love you. I love you. We Jane's hurry. the only one looking away. Okay. Oh, Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninja attack! That was absolute chaos. <laughs> I just want boys. <laughs> <laughs> but just because I was trying to say like I don't like like I'm not asking for like compliments from girls. I was just trying to be funny. But then it sounded weird. But then I was like, then I said boys, and that made it more weird. You just kept on saying boys. So. <laughs> I'm no, I just want boys <laughs> to say how good I look. No, no, that's not what I meant. Don't say that, Your Honor. That's not what I meant. Though. I mean, like the boys. I'm doubling down. <laughs> like we the boys. And quit talking. <laughs> Shut up, man. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Oh, okay. Oh, man, I'm crying.